We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles to gadget reviews Man, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges to a midweek meal packs app. Crack your eggs and bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. Right boys, today I have a surprise for you. I would like you to work together as a team. Oh, challenge. To make and bake. Challenge. A cake that celebrates an annual sporting event. Any ideas? Cricket. What cricket annual event? It's probably like once a year that I watch it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, mate, what? Wimbledon. It has been cancelled, but that doesn't mean we can't celebrate it. So I'd like you to create something that does exactly that. But first, we should probably dress for the occasion. You do it. Can I do it as sassy as he did it? No. <laughs> Tell you what he looks like. You know, in, you know in the PE teacher, you can't make a PE this week yes. and cover turns up. Yeah. Substitute PE teacher. <laughs> so I would like you to recreate a cake by one of my favourite people, Mary Berry, a Wimbledon tennis cake. It's going to test a whole bunch of baking skills. You want a light fruit cake, homemade marzipan, homemade royal icing and homemade fondant icing. I didn't know you could make your own marzipan. Well, someone has to make it. It doesn't grow. Two hours of active cooking time. You are working together but obviously taking it in turns in the kitchen. You're up against Mary and I at the other end of the court. <laughs> I'll sub you in and out at my discretion, but your two hours of baking, Jamie, starts now. Baz, we've got this. Step one, preheat the oven to 160 degrees Celsius. Sub me out, boss. I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. Grease a rectangular cake tin. Line the base and sides with a double layer of baking parchment. So if you remember when we made our last minute Christmas cake a few years ago, it's important to double line a fruit cake, otherwise it tends to burn the bottom because it's going to bake for a long time. The longest game in Wimbledon history was 11 hours. I think if you don't speed up a little bit, you're going to be there somewhere similar. Place all the fruits and nuts in a bowl with the lemon zest and gently mix together. The only problem is, all of them say they're cut into quarters, they're chopped. The pineapple rings is a bit 60s, isn't it? Well, I think pineapple is very Wimbledon. I mean, however many players compete over however many days and matches to win a pineapple. What are you talking about? Ta-da! That's it. Everyone is trying to win the pineapple. What you've got to remember is that Wimbledon is one of the world's oldest tennis tournaments. And back in 1877, when it began, pineapples were a thing of prestige to show off with. Jamie, there's a pineapple on top of the Wimbledon trophy. Sultanas roughly chop some blanched almonds. <laughs> Barry, I'm trying. Fruit in, time for some lemon zest. It's going in and then we can give it all a good mix up. Turns out I could have done with a bigger bowl. 12 minutes gone, that's 10% of your time. New balls, please. Okay, let's pick up the plates. What's next? In a separate bowl, cream the butter and sugar together. Weigh it out, yeah? Yep. Hallelujah. Perhaps I should have melted that. Never mind. Let's get a rally going. Well, that's pale. And I've got cramp in my hand! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Sport. One egg at a time. Keeps it simple. Less counting. Shut up! We're a, you just said we're a team! Baz, did you add in the flour? Um, no. I looked up the origin of umpire. Umpire is from the French non pair, which means non pair, which means not on anyone's side. I'm going to be honest with you, Ben. This challenge is difficult enough as it is without having to listen to these facts. <laughs> <laughs> I've realised we've made a mistake, Baz. Why? What we've not done is read ahead. What does Mary Berry always say? Read the recipe. Get out of my house, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> mix. There's no way Mary Berry could do this with her little arms. I mean, you talk about Mary Berry's little arms. <laughs> <laughs> Into an oven. Four, we'll find out in a sec. So the recipe says two hours. Right, clear down and new balls, please. Clear down first and then new balls. There was a very specific order to Evers. that instruction. So I'm starting with the almond paste. 
Mix the ground almonds, caster sugar and icing sugar in a bowl. Mix these all together. Stir in the egg and almond essence. Here, we're entering the unknown with baking. I've never ever made an almond paste. Right. Uh, right, wrap and cling film, set aside. <laughs> 35 minutes gone. New balls, please. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. For the raw icing, whisk the egg whites into a large mixing bowl until they become frothy. This was supposed to be your, your speciality today, PE. You're still struggling at the maths and the reading. <laughs> I hate that happens when you have the, like, you're separating eggs, but one half of your egg is that big. I find you're in control of that. So royal icing is another one we've not made for a long time. It's an icing that you initially make, and then when you pipe it, <laughs> It sets really hard, becomes very, very firm, to the extent that this royal icing is going to stand up on its own. You need to be able to pipe your net. There's a sieve for you to sift. Thank you. Luckily, you have an hour and 20 minutes remaining. So I've got to do that and then whisk. It's only three hands. <laughs> you need to oh, get a whisk, that's whisk really and tap. hard. <laughs> Sorry, relax, loosey goosey. <laughs> Don't think about it, don't think. No, it's really fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> That's just so much icing sugar on the chopping board. Oh no! I'm glad I weighed it all out. Do you know what will be fun? No. New balls, no. please! Oh, I'm left handed. <laughs> <laughs> Wimbledon is the largest annual sporting catering event in Europe. You're coming up to your hour mark. Um, that did take a little bit longer than I expected because... Do one. In my head, half an hour to make it and pipe it. You can't rush genius, Ben. It's becoming difficult to read the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Quick clear up, then new balls, please. So now for the fondant, I've got to place my gelatin, glucose, glycerine, and two tablespoons of water into a bowl. <laughs> You've, left... <laughs> You've left yourself 55 minutes to finish an icing and decorate. It feels like this entire challenge comes down to the final few points. You know what I mean? It's gonna, we're going to get it to tie break, and then we're going to have to be... Oh, <laughs> it's then to sieve the rest of the ice sugar onto the work surface. It's quite a lot of ice sugar onto the work surface. This feels like I'm just making a mess. All dissolved? All dissolved. All good. Now into this mix. We've given them a two hour time limit, and that's only active time, so it doesn't include cake cooling, but they only have 55 minutes of the active time remaining. You're gonna have to pick up the pace, because I'm not giving you any extra time. A minute. Barry, Barry, cake, cake, cake. Cut, <laughs> multitasking. It's not clean. Not clean. Tin foil, back in the oven. Testing to see if the cake was done, and putting a piece of tin foil over them took them five minutes. That's where they're losing the time. This doesn't feel right. Oh, oh, it feels so good. So you should end up with something that's pretty much like Play-Doh. You should be able to mould it into all sorts of shapes. 35 minutes remaining. Right, thumb size piece, off. Wrap it in cling film. New balls, please. Right, green, 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 green. Whoa, okay. You put quite a lot, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. So much for little by little. <laughs> I think, I think we might have nailed that first time, <laughs> That's lucky, because you've not got much time to go back and do it again. Wrap it in cling film to prevent it drying out, and then we're going to move on to almond paste. <laughs> oh, I hate it when people do that to cling film. I didn't do it, it's done. Stop fiddling with the cling film. I'm not fiddling, Barry, I'm trying to... <laughs> you've got a technique to this. This tells me you've done this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> don't stick, don't stick to me. There we go, right. <laughs> That's it, use your fingernails. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> we now need to roll out your almond paste. How does it feel? It looks like it's rolling okay. I, surely it's one of those things you can just like take a bit off and fill in a hole. Yeah. Because it's not a yeah. patchwork, it's not a pastry, so you can patch it, it's a paste. I know you're colour blind, but you shape blind as well. <laughs> Come off it. A top tip that I sometimes think if you're cutting if you're rolling something very thin is actually to roll it on baking paper. Good measuring, mate. How's your cake cooking? You? <laughs> I mean, just... <laughs> 21 minutes remaining. 
hell. Absolute it's all right, hell. it's fine, it's fine. You can fix it, you can fix it in post. Oh hell. <laughs> Is that all that time you spent prodding it? Yep, shut your face. Clear down and then new balls. Neatly cut out a nine by six inch rectangle and carefully placed on top of the almond paste. Barry's patched up the hole with some of the marzipan from the side, which has created a new hole. Food colouring goes really far, doesn't it, Barry? <laughs> I now have to cut this out neatly to the size of the tennis court, which I think is a little bit bigger than an A4 piece of paper. I have gold. 15 minutes remaining. <laughs> this is the moment, because if the consistency of your royal icing isn't quite right, it's going to be very difficult to pipe. Oh, nice. mate, that's great. That was better than Mary's already. Ah! New balls! Ten ten tennis racket. No! Let me just do a tennis racket. New balls! Do, do, do a few of those. <laughs> Five minutes remaining. What are you doing? Screw up, screw up your own racket, so don't go screw up with my, my net. I'm going to do my net. Um, this is hard, isn't it? I hate to be a stickler for the rules, but I am the tennis official. And therefore, I'm going to hold them to the last four minutes. Right, trim it now, Jay. New balls. Ah! A minute 45 left. And stop the clock. So you've left yourself a minute and 10 seconds to hopefully peel off some tennis rackets and place them on the court, stand up a net, and then slide the whole thing onto a cooled cake. Okay, the cake is cooled. Hopefully, the royal icing has set. You have one minute and ten on, seconds you left on the this. clock, and the oh, time I starts. I can't watch. I can't watch. I can't now, watch. Now I can't. I can't watch. It has worked. Yes. Now, now he's got to place rackets Jamie, on balls. Jamie, on. Jamie, Jamie, come in. Stop. Wait. Stop. Stop. What are you? What? Oh my goodness! Look, you cracked her. Forty seconds. Don't forget the net. <laughs> is that a tennis racket? <laughs> Right, it's the net, mate. I'm gonna make some big blobs. You got 12 seconds. Five, four, Barry, Barry. <laughs> I just don't the move. The net's up. Two, one. Don't move. Time up. Oh. I mean, for us, that is incredible. <laughs> Now, obviously, we've done such a marvellous job that it wouldn't fit under a cloche, of so course. we've had to... Yeah. James, what are your expectations? Let's just get that straight first. Um, a cake with a tennis court on it. Well, please, <laughs> remove your blindfold. <laughs> it's a cake with a tennis court on it. Yes! 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 See you later. It, it looks good, look, clean lines. I don't know why the net looks so good, but the rackets are a bit of a, a mess. I don't have that many negatives. Oh. I think obviously the piping could be a touch better, but it looks good, especially from a little distance. Um, <laughs> let's see how it tastes. And we have some pins, James. Thank you, sir. There's a lot going on in there. Thank you, Barry. Cheers. Cheers. Weighty, isn't it? It's a good fruitcake. I'm so impressed. I don't have a bad thing to say about it. It's great. My goodness. What's Apart happened? from the rackets, you know, whoever did the rackets. The fact that you made your own fondant and royal icing and marzipan, super impressive. We all know that cake decorating, fondant, icings, marzipans, they're not our thing. The fact that we've gone over and above and made them from scratch shows that with a little bit more effort, you can do it. Yeah, and I'd, I'd do it again as well. Yeah. Now I know how to do it. Yeah. That might be the best decorated cake we've ever made on Sorted. Because oh, no. <laughs> it ain't our forte either. I agree. I think you might have gathered by now that I think this is an absolute pass and you guys have done a great job. 
But if there are any more cakes that you want our resident cake experts to take on, Barry and Jamie, <laughs> please comment below and let us know. They're raring to go. This is not going to be a thing. I think Mike needs to have a go as well. Mm. No, Barry and Jamie, cake experts. <laughs> We've also built the Sorted Club, where you can get tons of foodie inspo using the PAX Midweek Meal app, discover and share restaurant recommendations using the Eat app, listen and contribute to our Feast Your Ears podcast and send us ideas for new cookbooks you'll receive throughout the year. Check it all out by heading to sorted.club. And now a blooper. Ha, ha, ha.